Hi everyone, I'm at a property in Bristol today where is a shared house behind me and you will not believe what I've just come across. It is literally, excuse the pun, but it's shocking what I've just come across. It's, uh, it's actually a house that I wired around about two or three years ago. Uh, we've been in, we did a full rewire of this place and I've been called in because there's been a false situation happening. Let's go and take a look and I'll show you exactly what I found. So with this property, we've had the call come in from the, the letting agency to say that the light fittings, although they're switched off, they're still lighting up just a little bit. They're still operating on and off. However, for some reason, all the light fittings are flashing every single one of them. They're all doing the, they're all doing the same thing all the way around the property. It's not just in this room, it's downstairs, it's upstairs, it's everywhere. So I wired this place about two or three years ago and I was thinking to myself, okay, it's not likely to be anything to do with the mains with the wiring that we've done then because uh, we wired it, we tested, tested it, inspected it, everything was done exactly as it should be done. So that's led me to the consumer unit here, which as you can see here, um, these two circuits are the lighting circuits. Uh, no, it's these two, sorry. These two are the lighting circuits. So I then started thinking to myself, right, okay, let's, uh, let's turn the power off to these a minute and see what happens. So now if I now come back over to the light fittings, I'll come back to the room where I showed you before. Right, so I'm thinking, Okay, we still got power at these light fittings. We still got something going on. There's something is clearly adrift because we still got this dim LED light coming off of it. Even though, I mean, we do have dimmers in here and they can cause havoc sometimes, but it's, um, it's all the way around the property, uh, even, even in the rooms that don't have dimmers as well. So we've got to rule that out. So I'm thinking, right, okay, maybe there's some kind of discharging going on from somewhere. So uh, I then decided I know what I'll do with these circuits switched off. I'll then drop the neutrals out. So this is what I did. I then disconnect. I'll only do it with the one just to sort of show you. But as, you, as I disconnected it, see that I got a spark. I thought, what on earth is going on? Because uh, I did follow this neutral out as well to prove that it is actually going to uh, go into this breaker, which is currently switched off. The breaker's off and I'm still getting a spark. That should not be happening. I thought if there's any kind of, um, any capacitors inside the light fittings that might be storing a little bit of charge, then when you dap it on for the first time, you'd expect a spark. Um, if that was the case, that, that never happens, but if it did, you'd expect the spark the first time, but this is a repetitive spark and I couldn't understand what was happening. So I then thought to myself, right, okay, something's really adrift here. So I then got my, my uh, meter to then sort of let's take a look at the voltages then see if I'm getting any any voltage on this cable to see what see exactly what one might be leaking from somewhere it could be might be the case I have to do an insulation resistance on it to make sure that we haven't got any um, any um, insulation issues between the earth live and the neutral so uh, so yeah this is what I did next right okay guys so what I'm doing next is I mean, what I'm gonna do now is a simple volt check to see how many volts I, I, I get coming back through the system. So I hope you guys are trying to guess exactly what's going on here as well, whether you're an electrician or not. Um, yeah, take your guesses to see what you think it might be. I'd be interested to write your comments. Start writing your comments in now. Let me let me hear you. Don't leave it to the end to write your comments. Write them right now but, uh, to see where, where you think I'm going with this. Bear in mind that I wired this place about two or three years ago, so I know the wiring should be sound. However, there is possibility of rats chewing and things like that. And I will carry on doing other tests, but I just wanted to start first to sort of see what's going on with the vault side of things here. So I'll put my, my tester on here. So I'm going between the earth and the neutral where I shouldn't have anything because technically this is a PME system we got here. So technically they're the same. Uh, they're, they These two wires connect down here technically. So I'm, I'm checking to see between earth and neutral. Um, and this is this is me checking the neutral of the lighting circuit, not the neutral of going back to the mains anyway. So I'm just going to do it on the neutral of the actual RCBO to see if if it might be I might get might be getting some voltage tracking back through somewhere. So I do that. Oh, I just took it off. Um, basically, I get 3.6 volts. Okay, I'm thinking it's very modest. It's not really what I'd expect to see if they, if it's causing an issue uh, to make the lights fire up. Yeah, I, I'd be expecting sort of 50 volts or something like that. So I thought, mm, okay, so let me just do another check a minute, just to, you know, earth to this neutral instead. And look what we've got here. 242 volts right here. We got mains voltage, 
This, for anybody that doesn't know, this should not be happening. Earth to neutral, this is something very adrift right now. So then I was thinking, hmm, okay. So earth to, earth to neutral, I shouldn't be getting anything whatsoever. So if I then try earth to neutral on the actual main switch, same again, 242 volts. So, which then made me think to myself, hold on a minute. If I've got voltage between earth to neutral, then what have I got to live? So I now go to live. Oh, drops back down to one volt. Right, okay, something's really not right here. So to anybody that hasn't twigged it yet, uh, and to anybody that has, then this is basically looking like a polarity issue. So I'm now thinking, well, that's impossible because I've tested this place. I did all my uh, R and R2 readings. I did my ZS readings. Uh, if you're not technically minded at this point, all you need to know is that I, I plugged in everywhere. I took all the readings that I needed to do to make sure I had an earth path everywhere. And um, my tester also does a polarity check as well. When you take a ZS reading, which is your loop impedance reading on a socket, it will automatically do a polarity check for you at the same time and it will let you know if anything's adrift. So I'm thinking to myself, right, okay, how could this be the case? I thought, you know what, I want to get, I want to get another opinion on this. So I brought out my trusty, the trusty volt stick, which this is more uh, a very good tool to have. However, you do not use this to confirm definite voltages. However, it is just a nice sort of like test and see kind of very easy uh, kind of way of, uh, of, of looking at things. Um, obviously, ultimately, this is, this is, this is king. Using your multifunction tester, this is what's going to give you the, the results. But I always like to, to have a, um, a second form as well, just to carry on things, just to, just to absolutely reiterate my thoughts on things. So I'm thinking, right, okay, what we've got here then on these, these lives are, the RCBAs are on, but I've got nothing here. So if I then go back to the neutrals behind them, there, it's saying it's live there. Same here again. So this neutral bar is currently live. So how on earth is that happening? Well, I spoke to the landlord and I said to him, have you had anything done recently? And uh, I said, have you had anything done electrically to this property? And he said, yeah, we've had a new smart meter installed. And that, my friends, is where this story is about to end because down here, the smart meter has been installed and from first look at it, you think to yourself, well, that looks correct because you've got your, your fuse here. So the live would be on this side and the neutrals on this side. So that's correct coming out of it. So we can't get to these terminals because they're, they're owned by the DNO. We're not, we're not legally allowed to, to touch the uh, connections to this. However, I can put my, my trusty pen on here. So the neutral, this flashes, by the way, just to let you know it's on. That doesn't mean it's live. So, right. Okay. This is all good. And then, yeah, this is live exactly as it should be. Coming out this side, anybody that uh, that knows these meters knows that their lives are always on the outside and the neutrals on the inside. So looking at it here, still correct, neutral here and live here. And where the problem has begun, obviously the polarity is correct around this way, but what they've done here is they've replaced this meter. And by replacing this meter, what they've done is the live and neutral the right, the correct way going in, the live and neutral the correct way going out, and what they've done is they disconnected these tails here uh, when they when they replaced the meter. They put in a new set of tails here. And so everything from here through here is, is correct. When it gets to here, this is where the problem happens. This is exactly where they've got the polarity around the wrong way. Because then coming out of here, that's where our neutral cable, which, which should be neutral, is live. And our live cable, which should be flashing up now, is not flashing up. So the neutral and the live is all connected fine in here. It's all connected completely fine here. However, it's not connected fine here. And they've also put one of their tags on it as well. So, I, so that's how I know that this is where the problem is. They got their tags here. And they've also put their tags here. And to really confirm things, I've covered over the, uh, the tape here to say exactly which company this is because um, um, uh, uh, for, for legal reasons, I, I don't want to state the name of the company. I don't want any banning on social medias of any kind or anything like that. So I've not put the name of the company. However, it's a very well known company. Um, should I should I say um, electricity company? So it says ceiling pliers ID number. It says it on here. It says date of check the 16th of July 2024 which is exactly, which is not far off the time when we first got the call that got reported that there might be something going on with the property because all the lights were, were coming on dim. And then it says location of socket tested kitchen. So basically 
not only has the person come into connect the meter and connected the connections the round way wrong here, which means everything's working backwards here. The live is, is neutral and the neutral is actually live. Not only have they done that, but now let me take my trusty tester here. Just one second. Right, my trusty tester. I now come out into the kitchen where the sockets are. So I'm now gonna re-simulate a check that they should have done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it onto loop. Loop no trip. It's on a it's on a uh, on RCBO. So if I I need to make sure that it doesn't trip the circuit. So right, plug this in. I now plug this in. Right, loop no trip. Here we go. Let's see here. It tells me here that the neutral and the live are around the around the around the wrong way because it actually tells me that I've got a polarity issue here. That means the connections have reversed. My tester will not let me take a reading. So. Okay, let's just say I wasn't a wasn't an electrician, and even if I was just somebody with a with just these socket testers you can get from uh, DIY stores, electrical stores, all sorts of places. Very handy bit of kit just to check to make sure you got um, a polarity around the right way of, of your sockets and things like that. Uh, you plug that in. Here we go. That should flash up with three continuous lights here. That should be three continuous lights to say that everything's on and working fine. We don't have that. We have one flashing light. And when we look at what the one flashing light says on here, I don't normally use this, but yeah, it says there, that one flashing light there, third one down, live neutral reverse. So not only did the person that came to do this wire the meter up the wrong way, they also never did their checks. So I now need to correct this issue and put it back to being the right way. But to give you an idea of how serious this situation is, um, basically, I very nearly gave myself a real horrible shock because if I'd came into this consumer unit um, and touched this neutral bar, this neutral bar is completely safe to touch in normal, circum uh, normal circumstances and this casing is earthed. So between that, between literally here, this point here of the earth casing and that neutral there, if I'd touched that, I'd have got myself one hell of a belt. Uh, I don't even like to think what could have happened. I could have grabbed hold of it and not been able to let go, or I, it might just give me a horrible belt. Could have get, uh, could have uh, messed with my heart. It could have done loads of things. You know, it's, it's not even worth. It's not. Even, it's not nice to think about, but it's something that really needs to be highlighted. It's so important that you do your polarity checks, you do your earth checks, and things like that to make sure that things like this don't happen. And yes, I know you can say that. Yeah, yes, Leon, but you've got the main switch on and you've got circuits on in here. But anybody that's an electrician know knows that you can't always just down power everything just for doing some uh, to, for doing some simple maintenance checks. Um, as this is a shared house, sometimes you would just. You know, or if you're working in office blocks and things like that, sometimes you do have to uh, uh, work to a certain degree. This is, um, I'm not going to go into the, the, the technicals of it, but sometimes there are times where you just need to be able to keep keep things on uh, when people are working from home. They got their, that they're in meetings and things like that. Uh, in this instance, I wanted to keep the power on because I wanted to be able to see exactly how what was going on with the voltage flow. So normally, if I was doing any kind of testing, I would, I would shut this board down completely. But nevertheless, um, even if I wanted to do a little something, left the main switch on, but turned all of these off, that would have still remained live because the, the live is coming up straight through this neutral here uh, and going, uh, which then connects onto that blue wire, which then connects onto this bar. So this bar would remain live, even though all of these are switched off. So I just wanted to sort of show everybody how serious these, these situations can be um, when you don't do... I mean, what can happen is these things do happen and you can get uh, yourself into a situation where the, you know, where you do connect something up the wrong way. It, it's, it can happen because we're human beings at the end of the day. We're not perfect. We're not supposed to be perfect. And that's what's beautiful about us. However, that's exactly why it's really important to do your checks, because if you do not do your checks, then you're basically not a perfect human being, but you could also kill a human being as well from your, because of the fact that you didn't do your job properly. So I've now swapped it around. Let's put these circuits back on, everything's connected. Main switch on for that one. Main switch on for this one. Right, so that's just the fire alarm here that's beeping away. So, let's have a little look. Oh, the lives are live. Live here is good. The neutral here is no longer live. And that is no longer live here. Like I said, it flashes anyway. So 
no lives here as, as it should be and these are all gone back to being live exactly as they should be so final check time now I'll repeat the two the two readings I did last time exactly the same thing again so let's have a look it's now allowing the the test to happen lovely earth path of 0 0.49 ohms perfect and now our nice basic tester that anybody can use three steady lines means everything's correct so now we come back out here to our light fittings again to have a look at them and you can see here no more flashing leds on dim anymore not that one not this one or any of them so all is well, all is good, thank God for that. So guys, if you really liked that video, please hit the like button, please subscribe. I'm doing lots of content like this, uh, whether it's to do with solar maintenance, solar installations, rewires, uh, electrical issues. Um, I wanna help other electricians, I wanna help um, people make informed decisions about, uh, about electrical uh, situations they have in their homes and properties. So please, please, yeah, subscribe and like and uh, anything you would, you'd like to see a video of, drop it in the comments and I'll catch you in a bit. Have a good one guys.